Take a look at number five on homework 10.3. If the mean weight of three outfielders in, on the baseball team is 204 pounds and the mean weight of the six other players is 237 pounds, what is the mean of the nine-person team? Okay, in this case here, there were three outfielders that each weighed 204 pounds, so that's three times 204, which is in this case 612. And then the mean of six other players is 237 pounds, so it'll be six times 237, which will be 1422. Now let's take that 1422 and add that to the 612, which will be 2034. And in this case, we're going to take that 2034, and there were nine players total, so we'll divide 2034 by nine to get 226. So the mean weight of the team is approximately 226 pounds. And in this case, we don't need to round to the nearest tenth because that number came out to be a whole number when we did the average. All right, number six. The figure at the right contains the salaries of the employees, the employees at Rags Limited Clothing Store. What is the mean, median, and mode salary? Okay, here's the table for the owner, salesperson, secretary, and custodian. And here we want to find the mean salary of all of those. Okay, we can use the calculator. Now the owner makes $27,300, so here we just type in the $27,300. There are five sales people that make $18,900. So, here I'm going to use the parentheses here. Five times $18,900. And then plus three secretaries that make each $14,300. So, be three times $14,300. Plus... Only one custodian makes $12,000, so we'll type in the $12,000. And in this case here, it'll be $176,700. Now, in this particular problem here, there are 10 employees total. So we're going to take that $176,700 and divide that by 10, which will be 17670 that represents the mean salary of those employees at that clothing store, which is 17670 Okay, now the next thing they ask is finding the mean median salary. The median is going to be the middle number, and there are 10 salaries. That means that the fifth and the sixth salary, and if you take the average of it, it's going to, make, it's going to be the median. Now, if you take the highest salary, that's 27300 That's the first one. And then you have five salaries that, that are at 18900 Okay, this is the fifth and the sixth. They're both 18900 Okay, because I can write the remaining four okay now that represents your ten salaries. The two middle numbers represent the median, and they're both eighteen thousand nine hundred so if I add those two up and divide by two to get the median, it's going to be just simply eighteen thousand nine hundred. So the median salary will be $18,900. And then finally, the mode salary. The mode is the number that occurs the most frequent. Five people make $18,900, so that has to be the mode. $18,900. Okay, so that's how we find the mean, the median, and the mode from a table that's given to us. Okay. Let's look at some additional problems, like number seven. 
The youngest person in the company is 30 years old. The range is 31 years. How old is the oldest person in the company? Okay, so here, the oldest minus the youngest is going to represent the range. In this case here, we're trying to find out what the oldest is. So I'm letting X be the oldest minus the youngest was 30 years old. And that's equal to 31, which is the range. Now here we can find out what X is by just simply adding 30 to both sides to get X is equal to 61. In this case here, the oldest person of that company is 61 years old. Keep in mind the range is always going to be the highest number minus the smallest number. If we know the range and if we know what, either the highest or the smallest, we can easily find the other. Okay, now number eight. To get a B in math, Alexandria Pappas must average 80 on five tests. Score, scores in the first four tests were 82, 73, 81, and 77. What is the lowest grade or the lowest score that she can get on the last test and still get a B? Okay, in this case, she must score an 80 on five test. So if we do 80 times five, that's a total of 400. So that means she must get a total of 400 so that she can get an average of 80. Now, her four scores were 82, 73, 81, and 77. Okay, so I'm just going to add 82, 73, 81, and 77 together to get a total of 313. Now, if we subtract 313 from the 400 and hit equal, or hit enter in this case, you're going to end up with 87. So, for her to get a B in this classroom, she must make at least an 87 on the fifth test. All right, the next problem is this. The box and whisker plot represents the quiz scores on, of two classes taught by Mrs. Garcia and Miss Singh. And here are those two box and whisker plots here. That's what those look like. Now we're going to use that to answer the following questions like, what is the median score for Mrs. Miss Singh's class? All right, let's look at the box and whisker plot for Miss Singh. The median is this line that's in the middle of that box. In this case, that median is 47. So the median score is 47 for Miss Singh's class. Next is whose class has a score with a range of 12. Okay. Let's take a look. It will be Miss Garcia because the lowest number is 45. The highest is 57. Subtract 57 minus 45, you'll get the 12. So it will be Mrs. Garcia's class with the range of 12. And then whose class has an inner quartile range of 4? Of course, the inner quartile range is always the upper quartile minus the lower quartile. And it would be Miss Singh's class that has an inner quartile range of 4. The upper quartile is 49. The lower quartile is 45. 49 minus 45 will give you 4. So that would be Miss Singh's class. And then finally, the median score for Miss Garcia's class is the same as which score for Miss Singh's class. The median and in this case it's going to be the maximum.